Hello YouTube, today for your reviewing pleasure I have the Verlinden Productions kit number 384 Messerschmitt BF 109E3 and E4 slash 7 detail set and this is for the 148 scale. Now this is not uh, designated as excuse me, kit specific so uh, that would lead me to believe that this could probably be utilized in any of the BF 109 kits. So let's go ahead and pull this out and we'll take a look and see what comes in this set. Alright. There we go. Alright, well, we'll go through it in the right order. So, starting up here, we have parts call out for the resin parts, with the photo etch detail parts. Then we go in to the cockpit assembly, so showing you what parts to remove, what you need to keep. Again, um, as it does not specify which kit necessarily this is for, it looks like uh, for the Hasegawa kits, um, you probably could use this on others, but just note that um, some of the steps may be slightly different, so just take that into consideration. Then we put the seat into place. All of the cockpit details on both the side walls, additional internal ribbing for the radio compartment in the back. Get that to focus. There we go. And then putting in the window. There. Giving you detailed information on how to do that and how to get things bedded in correctly. <clears throat> and have the radio compartment so you can actually basically have the hatch open to see the radio compartment. You do have a fully detailed engine here. Just showing the engine assembly. And on the back, canopy, putting the frames onto the clear. And the wheelbase, getting those detailed out, as well as the cowl rudder controls, everything like that. So, pretty straightforward. Let's get into the actual kit here now and see what we have. So, uh, now this was purchased secondhand, so potentially things will be different in yours. Um, I actually have a uh, extra amount of these uh, plastic bags, so I just went ahead and threw. The photo etch in, it is clear, or I'm sorry, thin photo etch, and as you can see, it has kind of gotten bent over the years. So we'll take a look here, flip this around, and then we will focus that on there. And there we go. As you can see, metal is just kind of starting to discolor just from the age. So we have the cockpit. framing here for around the windows molded in seat belts there All right. and then we'll get into a little bit of, of the resin bits We do have a clear part here, which is the dials for the instrument panel. You can see those there, so that will get cut out and put to the back of the photo etch. A really thin piece of wire for the radio compartment. We have our engine, which is basically just one huge hunk. We do need to uh, clean up the top here uh, from the molding process there. Of wheels, some of I would assume the mold piece is there. A 
couple of machine gun barrels and as you can see one of them has uh, taken and started to banana which again can happen with resin over time internal radio compartment bits and pieces or internal components here have our ejection seat molded in seat belts or not ejection seat, but a uh, pilot seat. There we go. Have our other side wall here. One of the front parts for the engine. A couple of the radio pieces here. Control stick. And a couple of other little bits of radio equipment as well. So that is pretty much all there is to the Verlinden Productions uh, kit number 384 Messerschmitt BF109 E3 and E4 slash 7 uh, detailed set for the Hasegawa kits from, but this is from Verlinden Productions. Thank you very much.